Hey guys, how you doing? Tim McKenzie here. Hope you guys are all right. Got a quick video of the unboxing and review of the Casemate Vroom case for the iPod Touch second generation. Got this case a couple of days ago and I've been trying it out since then and got some good and bad points about this case which I'll be sharing with you later. Um, if you are interested in this case, uh, I would definitely highly recommend this case. Um, visit www.casemate.com uh, that's upside down that would help sorry about the box I will put a link in the description box so you click on that one and it will take you directly there okay, www.casemate.com if you're interested in this case put my iPod aside and let's have a look at this plain and simple um, design packaging two primary colours really, the green and the white um, with the see through thr front to see the case and smart skin on the side Casemate logo and Casemate up the top with their website at the bottom and not much on the back really just a bunch of squares and telling you what it's for, the iPod Touch 2G so let's crack in on into this the iPod comes out on a simple plastic tray and all that is left is this piece of card which has um, only three little bullet points about the case it says down there unique tyre tread pattern screen protection kit included complete access to all ports as well so that's pretty good not much else in the pack nothing else in the packaging so I'm going to put that to the side take out the case on the front on this piece of card it says Form fit rubber case, unique tire tread pattern, full face screen protection included. With room for the iPod Touch. Take this little bit out, put that to the side, and here is the full face screen protector which is included. Which is really nice of case mate because um, I think all companies should really do this to because you buy a case to protect the back of your iPod. You also want the front protected, so it's nice for them to include a little screen protector. Have a look at the screen protector, see how good the quality is. I'm thinking it's going to be quite good, since it is from a very well-known case company, Casemate. There you can see, Casemate. We have a few instructions on the back um, of how to supply it. Uh, apply it, supply it, apply it. Little squeegee cardboard squeegee and a nice clean cloth included I can't tell you how many of these I actually have now absolutely loads of these with the website down the bottom come on focus camera there you go www.casemate.com ok so go check them out uh, they don't just have the room they have loads of other cases including the well-known um, barely there cases for the iPod Touch 2G screen protectors, um, more silicon cases, leather cases and a lot more that website uh, is will be in the description box for you to go check out right getting onto the case bring back my iPod, oh and everything's falling on the floor the case is obviously silicon very flexible, it's a nice case it's quite thick as well to protect your iPod. Um, first good point about this is it, it's easy to remove and insert your iPod. Quick and easy. Simple like that. You may need a bit of massaging once you first buy it to get the buttons aligned with the um, risen, raised even, silicon on the side. Okay, so that's a good point as well, the silicon on the side and again on top which help you navigate your buttons easily also the case has a unique tile tread pattern which is always good I find the unique um, a unique pattern also lay on the table design with the raised um, silicon at the side which will protect your case to some screen to some extent um, this is around all the iPod protecting all the side chrome up the top and sides, but down the bottom there is um, obviously the area for the ports. 
So you have full access to all your ports, but there is a slight bit of chrome left, which I do admit could be made better if they added a bit more that side. Um, that would make the case a lot more protective. Um, also, you have full access to your screen, so playing apps or browsing the web. The case does not get in the way at all. <clears throat> the case has pretty good grip for holding it like that, so you're not going to drop it, slip out your hands quickly or anything like that which is great. A um, couple of bad points is the area down the bottom which is uncovered. Also the case does catch some dust. Not a tremendous amount but it catches a few specks but is easily rubbable, rub got rid of by just a bit of, oh, actually what could make it worse if it's a dusty cloth. <laughs> but yep yeah, that's, that's the review for this. It's a really great case. Um, so many more good points than bad points. We would really recommend this if you're a silicon type of person who likes your silicon cases on your devices. Um, and the unique design also adds um, some style to it as well. I really recommend getting this case. Um, it is available at casemate.com www.casemate.com The link will be in the description box. Do not forget it does come with a screen protector as well which is nice of Casemate. So that is a quick review of the silicon case Vroom by Casemate. Lots more videos coming up in the future. Hopefully I'll be doing some in a few minutes. Um, stick this to the side. One of them will be on the Sony Dream Machine Auto Time Sets, other stuff. FM and AM clock radio with dock for the iPod Touch and iPhone. So that that will be coming up soon. Um, if you're interested in getting a dock with, with a, clock, a clock with a dock for your iPod, it's a bit rhyme in there. Um, then that might be one you might enjoy and like the look of. So I'll be doing a review of that one also. Sorry, I'm hitting the camera. I'm doing a review of this is an iPod related. But it's still tech related. The wireless keypad for um, the PS3 controller. Okay, so I'll be doing a review. It's not in there at the moment. I've already unboxed this, so I will not be doing an unboxing. I'll just be doing a review. You can see a picture of it on the side. The keypad is up top with the controller. I'll be doing a review on that one um, soon in the future. And lots more app reviews as I have about 15, 20 apps more, more of them. So I'll be doing some reviews on them, so look forward to some upcoming videos. Um, and I'll see you in the new year. I uh, hope you all have a good new, uh, good last few moments of 2009 and see you in 2010, end of the decade. Uh, yeah, uh, unless I do some more videos. I probably will do some more videos, and that was a bit silly of me saying that. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. See you there.